Greetings, I'm Senator Mary Kunish representing the old District 41 and the new District 39. This morning we heard the Senate Education Omnibus in Finance, and while I was hopeful that the GOP majority would grasp this unique opportunity to take advantage of the surplus dollars, reinvest them in our schools to alleviate so many of the issues that we're also concerned with, the bill is far from that. The Education Omnibus Bill represents just 0.3% of the state's budget surplus. That's $13 million less than the Senate GOP bill spends on tax cuts for those earning over $500,000 per year. To me, that feels like a true imbalance of responsibility and investment in our kids and their futures. The special education cross subsidy alone is one of the biggest concerns for our school districts right now. It's something we can fix for $822 million, which is less than 9% of the full surplus. Failing to, back, to buy back those special education cross subsidy dollars is going to have a true negative difference on our school. Every dollar that we fall short at the state level is a dollar cut from our students' future. In Senator Chamberlain's district alone, $10.2 million to the White Bear Lake schools is going to be lost. Our kids are hurting. Our teachers are struggling. Our support personnel are too few and are so overwhelmed. Did you know that Minnesota has 114,000 teachers with unexpired licenses, while 60,000 continue to do their best in these times of troubles? That's 54,000 licensed educators who have left the classroom, and we have to ask why. I think it's because this GOP legislature refuses to acknowledge the lack of investment, just like this omnibus bill, spent suspending the world's best workforce, yet spending $30 million on the pet project of Senator Chamberlain. Minnesota, I'm worried. This omnibus bill is not good for our students, for our teachers, or for our families, and it's nowhere good enough for Minnesota.